today, the public got a preview of the latest government report on who killed Kennedy. In that report, the committee said John F. Kennedy was probably assassinated as the result of a conspiracy. And while there was no evidence organized crime as a group was involved, the committee did not rule out the possibility that individual members could have been involved. It further contends that two people shot at Kennedy's car. Three shots fired by Oswald from the sixth floor window of the book depository building. The other fired from the grassy knoll in front of the president's limousine. The report bases its two-gun theory on acoustics tests of a Dallas police tape recording. The sounds recorded came from the radio microphone of a motorcycle policeman who was in the Kennedy motorcade when the shots were fired. And it matches up with the film taken by Abraham Zapruder. Larry Harris is one of a number of assassination researchers who has spent years filling in the blanks left by the Warren Commission and by subsequent reports. He claims the latest investigation will be woefully inadequate in the areas of ballistics and medical evidence. He also claims the committee presumed Oswald's guilt from the start and has failed to consider the possibility of Oswald's innocence. He seems to have an airtight alibi as to his presence elsewhere in the building at the time of the shots. Evidence developed by or otherwise made available to the committee uh, was ignored, and it further substantiates Oswald's alibi that he was on another floor of the building. Harris says this latest report throws crumbs to a skeptical public. Yes, there was a second gunman, but Oswald killed the president. Yes, there was a conspiracy, but no, the FBI and CIA were not involved. The only thing certain, the public still wants to know. Bob Welch, WBAP Radio News. Gay Smith, The Texas News.